Welcome again to the Prelude to Computer Science series. This is video number six. We're going to talk a little more about binary numbers and binary logic. Recall in an exponentiation that um, when we have x to the power of n or x to the nth, that x is what we call the base or the base of the exponentiation and n is called the exponent. So this explains why we have the terms base 10 and base 2 to describe number systems. Base 10 is called base 10 because every digit is weighted with an exponential term that has a base of 10. And each digit in a base 2 number is weighted by an exponential term with a base of 2. Now there are other useful number bases. For example, uh, in addition to base 2 and base 10. Of course, base 2, we call that binary, and it uses the digits 0 to 1. Base 10 is decimal, and we use the digits 0 to 9. We also, in computers, use two other bases. Base 8, which is called octal, and it uses the digits 0 to 7. We also use base 16, which is called hexadecimal, which uses the digits 0 to 9 and the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. Octal and hex, uh, or hexadecimal, are very useful because they're easier to read than pure binary, but they are uh, also very easy to convert to and from binary, and we may talk more about that a little bit later. The, um, the part of a computer that does what you tell it to do what you want it to do uh, is <clears throat> uh, a, a great big collection of what are called logic circuits or, or logic gates. And uh, each of these gates can have a high voltage or a low voltage. Now the, the, the high voltage uh, is usually uh, close to 5 volts. It might be 4.5 or 5 volts, something like that. And a low voltage uh, is going to be something like, I don't know, maybe 0.3 volts uh, down to 0 volts. But we interpret this at a high voltage as being 1 and a low voltage as being 0. Uh, we can also think of the high voltage as being true and the low voltage as being false. The interpretation is uh, entirely up to us at this point. Now, a logic circuit performs an operation on an input voltage and produces an output voltage. It's called a logic circuit or logic gate because the operations it performs are logical operations. The first logic circuit that we're going to talk about is one of the easiest. It's called the NOT circuit or the NOT gate and all it does is it reverses the input. Now I have these two diagrams here that show the two possible inputs that you can give uh, this uh, circuit. It only takes one input and that input can either be a 1 or it can be a 0. If the input is 1, then the output of the circuit is 0. If the input is 0, then the output is 1. It's important to understand that the circuit doesn't really look like this diagram. The real circuit does not look like that diagram. This is just a mental picture for us uh, or a picture uh, that helps us imagine what the circuit is, is doing. And that's what's important for you to understand right now, is just to understand what the circuit is doing. And all it does is it takes a 1 and turns it into a 0, or a 0 and turns it into a 1. Now, keep in mind that when we say 1 or true, again, we're, we're talking about a high voltage, which is something over 4.5 volts, say, something like that. And when we talk about a zero or a false, that uh, uh, that really means a low voltage, which is something on the order of zero to a half a volt or something like that. We can summarize the behavior of a logic circuit by using what's called a truth table. A truth table just says, given these kinds of inputs or this input, this is the output that the circuit produces. Now the uh, here's an example of the uh, truth table for a NOT circuit or a NOT gate. 
uh, it, it's very simple and it looks like too much work to do for such a simple little circuit. Usually these tables are uh, very useful when you start tying these logic circuits together as we'll do a little bit later. Uh, and uh, at that time the logics, the truth tables are very very useful. Since 0 means false and 1 means true we could fill in the truth table with F and T. F for false and T for true. Uh, either way is correct and either way is uh, used is very is in very common use. Uh, just uh, whatever uh, makes most sense to you, whatever uh, is most convenient, whatever is most appropriate for the particular use that you're trying uh, to put the table to, use it either way. Uh, so this is uh, the this is the end of uh, video six, um, and uh, next time we'll start on our next circuit. Thank you.